What's going on YouTube fam? Mike here shooting another high adventure video. You might be asking yourself, what are with the women's sunglasses? Well, great story. I actually found these glasses in the river when I was snorkeling earlier this fall. Um, got them cleaned up. They're in like perfect condition and they are Michael Kors sunglasses, which when I looked up online, these bad boys retail for $165. So you know what? Gender be darned. When you find a $165 pair of sunglasses, I'm wearing those bad boys. I don't care what anybody says. I am really jacked about this video today. We are going to do a catch and cook trout, but we are going to smoke the trout in the wild. And I am going to make a smoker just out of the forest around me. No grill, no electric smoker, no nothing. We are just going to smoke it old fashioned style, just out in the wilderness. So this is really actually a really involved process, smoking trout. And apparently the longer the better uh, for soaking the trout in brine, letting it dry, et cetera, et cetera. So I kind of have to speed up the process today because it's winter time. It's about 40 degrees outside. And I don't have all day to let a trout sit uh, in brine and to smoke it for eight hours or anything like that. I have read and done enough research to know that you can um, kind of speed up the process a little bit. It might not taste as good as, as if you were to take more time on it, but I just don't have the time today. But we are gonna smoke some trout today. Um, so the first thing, obviously, we gotta go get some trout. All right, I got my camp set up here. We're gonna head right over this little hill right here, right up to the dam. There should be some nice waterfalls up there. That is where I'm hoping to get my trout today. So I gotta give a big shout out to Mad Bomber Hats, guys. That's what I'm wearing today here. Guys, this thing is amazing. It is real rabbit fur and oh my gosh. It just, it's like a bunny is just embracing your cranium. And it is so warm. And the underrated thing about these hats is it keeps your neck warm too. That fur glides down when you think about it. A beanie really just keeps the top of the cranium warm. But this bad boy, man, all the way down the jawline, the neck, the top of the head. Oh, I'm telling you, it's getting cold out. You need to go do yourself a favor get one of these hats mad bomber hats in fact i'll put a link in the description below and uh click on it go check them out for yourself this one's got like a a blue and black plaid on it you can get them in all kinds of different colors and i'm telling you though this is the only way to do it <laughs> Ice starting to form on some of these uh, stagnant pools here. That's about, uh, I don't know, some of that's close to an inch thick, so it's nice and cold out here. Got it. Look at that! Whoa! Holy mackerel, look at that! That's a nice trout. Woohoo! Oh yeah! Oh shoot! Oh, he just broke the line. Ah! Look at that! Yeah! Guys, check that out right there. Look at that! That is beautiful. That is what I'm talking about right there. That is a good... I don't know, probably four, close to 14 inch trout. That's gonna be delicious smoked. And look at that, it's got a tag on it right there. We'll have to check that out and see what, see, what, uh, see what that's all about. That's beautiful. We'll get him on a stringer right now. That's what we're after. Let's get a few more of those. All right guys, that's the first one. He's, he's easily over 13 inches. First one on the stringer, let's go get a couple more.
Yeah, look at that. Another one. Look at that beauty. Not quite as big, not quite as big as the last one, but man, that's a good 12 inches. We'll keep that one for sure. All right, so we just fished those waterfalls down there and this little pool. Um, got a couple out of there. I'm gonna try those little waterfalls right over there though. See if we can't get one more. I'd like one more out of there. Look at that one. Look at that. Look how fat that thing is. Look at that one. What? Oh my word. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at that. Oh man, that is fantastic. Got it. There he is. There's a nice one. That'll do nicely. Yeah, look at that. Pretty trout. Look at that. That's a good 12 incher. Really, they're really thick. They're not skinny. I've I've got some real skinny trout out of here, but that's a beautiful, beautiful trout. That's 12 inches. Guys, it is time to get smoking. Oh guys, look at that. Those are some beautiful, beautiful trout right out of this river. It doesn't get any fresher than this, guys. Next step, we gotta get these bad boys clean, get them in my dry rub and uh, get that uh, get that meat start soaking up that flavoring. So that's the next step here. Oh, guys, look at this. This is looking beautiful. Look how pink this one is right here. So I've butterflied them all out. I haven't taken the bones out because they're so small. I know there's a way that you can like, with I, I know the big ones, maybe the smaller ones you can. You guys let me know. But uh, you could take like the ribs out and everything. So it's basically fillets on either side. But I haven't gotten that intricate, obviously, with these guys. But they're butterflied out. I am going to get them in the dry rub and we are gonna let these bad boys soak up my rub. Let me go show you the kind of rub seasoning that I have for, uh, I guess it's just a dry brine they call it. Let me show you the dry brine that I have for these bad boys. All right, so apparently there are a load of different rubs that you can do and it's just all personal preference. So I just kind of got a basic recipe here. This is brown sugar. Uh, I threw in some parsley as well. Um, kosher salt, pepper, lemon pepper, a little onion powder, and garlic powder. Um, am I missing anything else in there? Oh, and uh, uh, the main ingredient is brown sugar. So apparently that's uh, just kind of a nice basic recipe. I added the, um, the parsley and uh, the lemon pepper. It was just supposed to be straight pepper, and I added that too, but I also did some lemon pepper in there. So we're gonna get these um, these trout, these butterfly trout out, we're gonna put them in here, we're gonna make sure the skin's fully covered, and we're gonna stick it in the cooler, and we're gonna let them sit in uh, my dry rub, my dry brine here, for probably about an hour. Right, I've made sure each filet has gotten a thorough rub down with the dry brine. So now, probably should have added a little more, but each each uh, each one in there has got uh, got a lot on on both sides of each fish so I got a little overzealous and put four in there probably should have stuck with three but it'll all fit in there so now we're gonna get the lid back on we're gonna set them in the cooler and let them sit for an hour so the next step in this process I have to get a fire going and um, build up a nice like little berm of embers uh, and I'm just gonna make a little fire right down here uh, I'm gonna build some rocks up around just kind of make like a little chimney area I can lay a stick right across these rocks up here so my fillets will hang down over the berm of embers um, they say you know apple wood cherry wood oak I think is a, is a solid one as well that I read online but uh, like I said I think I've got like birch tree or something like that so we're just gonna use that get our fire going uh, make our little smoker right down here and get cooking <laughs> Thank you.
here are the smoking logs I'll be using. Maybe an arborist can tell me exactly what those are. Check that out. We've got like this nice little smokestack going on here. Guys, that's like the perfect place to have. <coughs> Why does smoke always blow right in your direction? That is a force of nature I still do not understand. But uh, guys, look at that. Just a beautiful little smokestack, like a chimney. That's gonna be the perfect spot to smoke these fish. We're gonna let this wood burn down now. And uh, we're gonna let that meat still soak in the brine. It's been in the brine for about 30 minutes or so already. And uh, we're gonna let this burn down to embers and we're gonna be ready to go. All right, so while the fire is burning down and the fish are, are um, sitting in the brine, I'm gonna cut down a bunch of these little green like the saplings here and I'm gonna pile them around my fire to create like a little tent so that smoke really stays in there and swirls around and helps speed up the smoking process since I'm in, I am outside and I'm not doing it like on a grill, a closed grill or something like that. So that's the next step. Right, guys here's my smoker outdoor smoker I just need that wood to burn down a little bit more but uh, I've got a nice lot of nice uh, just little saplings around there and I stuffed it with some just uh, nice green grass around the top so we just need that wood to burn down a little bit more and then uh, we're gonna be ready to go all right so our little outdoor smokers done need that wood to cook down a little bit our fish has been in the brine for a little over an hour. Gonna give it another 15, 20 minutes. Then we're gonna rinse each piece of meat off. We're gonna let it set out and dry just a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna go find a nice piece, nice uh, nice stick that I can throw each filet over. And then we're gonna stick it in our little outdoor smoker and uh, give it about an hour and a half or two hours in there. And, and probably throw a sturgeon line out while we're waiting. But man, I, it can't come soon enough because I am getting hungry. Here we go. That looks like a nice, See if we can break him off there. There we are. That looks like a nice sturdy yet nimble branch to uh, throw some fillets on. A little dry, so let's go soak him in the water for here for the next 15, 20 minutes before we put that fish on. Look at that. I pulled them out of the brine. I rinsed each filet off to get any extra brine off there. They say if, if you don't rinse it off, it can be too strong. The meat can get, can get too pungent. So I rinsed each off, I patted them dry. I'm gonna let them dry just a little bit more for about 10 minutes outside. It's really cold out. Well, not super cold, but about 45 degrees outside. I'm gonna let them air dry out a little bit out here and then they are going into the smoke. My little, my little outdoor smoker that I've made, but look at that. My logs are burned down enough. I've got my main piece of wood going over the top. Let's do this. Yeah. Be so careful while I'm doing this. I don't want to lose anything. So guys, how lucky is this? I actually have cell service down here and I looked up this type of wood. This is how new I am to this. This is actually cherry tree wood and the reason I didn't know is because this actually was just sitting in the back of a property um, that uh, I did some work on and I threw it I threw it in the back of my truck oh I don't know probably a year ago and it's been sitting at my house so I just happened to grab that um, but I believe I'm actually using cherry wood which is like one of the best woods that you can use for smoking so how lucky is that Guys, look at this. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> I've got my 
my cherry wood down to embers. I've got smoke, just smoking them out. Those fillets are nice and open, so that smoke's gonna get all up in there in that meat. You can see, you can see, I mean, look at it, it's just smoking so nice. Maybe not keeping as much smoke in as maybe I'd hoped, but I mean, it's just, those fillets are right in there. All I gotta do now is just tend to the fire. We're gonna get a sturgeon line out, see if we can get a bonus fish, but I'm gonna let these sit in here. They say for like an hour to two hours, depending on the temperature. So probably check them about every 30 minutes and uh, check the fire, but oh my gosh. Oh, I am checked for this. This is great. This is living. All right. They've been in there for about an hour now and they're looking, looking good. Again, this is my first time, so I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of winging it here, but uh, they've been in for an hour. I'm gonna leave them in for another 30, 45 minutes at least. Uh, but you can see we're still getting a lot of good smoke uh, uh, rolling up, you know, through this, um, uh, from that wood, from that cherry wood. I've been kind of like moving this piece around a little bit, getting a lot of good smoke off of that and just stirring the fire um, and then throwing, I've got some, uh, got some other pieces of this that are that aren't uh, quite as cured as this stuff is that i've been throwing on there to help generate that smoke uh so it keeps smoking that fish but uh oh man that is looking really good i've got like i said 30 45 minutes i'm thinking left here and then uh, we're gonna pull these bad boys off and uh <laughs> i'm really jacked to give this a try all right it's been two hours. Little embers going. Still smoke coming up. Oh, guys, I'm excited. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, man. We got to see how we did. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Let's see how we did. Moment of truth. There it is. Feels like it's got like a glaze on it. There you go. All right. Oh, that's cooked. Look at that right there. It's peeling right off the skin. See that right there? Oh my gosh. Oh my word. Guys, that is delicious. Oh my goodness. It reminds me of like, like a honey glazed ham. You know how there's like that, that like, like, there's almost like a skin, a skin of glaze on that meat. Oh my word. Sorry, I'm keeping an eye on my sturgeon rod too. Oh, I'm getting a bite. I'll be back. Let's get this guy down. We'll just kind of peel him off. Oh, look at that. Look at that meat right there. Again, that glaze. We gotta try some of this. Look at that. Look at that unreal. And that glaze is that is that um, that rub. It's got the sweetness. I can taste some of the pepper. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna smoke all my fish from now on. Guys, this. I still have some bones in there because I didn't fillet it. Oh my word. Oh my word. Look at that. I, I'm just, I, I get that whole rib just coming right out and then all I have is meat. All that is meat. 
Mmm. Oh my word. Mmm. Last one. <laughs> oh my word. Oh. 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 That glaze on the out. Definitely, if I'd gotten here earlier, I'd just probably like one more hour smoking would have probably been like perfect. But for my first time, what? I will do this all day. I was worried, man. Th there's a lot of energy into this, a lot of time, a lot of effort. Oh, but the payoff, guys, you need to pleasure your taste buds and smoke your fish. Oh my heavens. Guys, you, you need to do this. You need to do this if you love yourself. Mm. Mm. And I love any tips, any tricks. If you guys have any ways that you like to do it, any of the ways you smoke trout or salmon or whatever, because this is my first time, but I'll tell you what, this was a success. This was a huge success. A lot of time. A lot of effort. A lot of energy. I, I mean, homemade. But I, does it get any better than this, man? I made my own smoker. I made my own smoker out of out of the wilderness. Oh. Mm. Look at that. There's your skin right there. Oh. <laughs> Guys. First smoke trout ever. Wild right from this river. Oh, look at that glaze. That's that glaze I'm talking about right there. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, mash that subscribe button. More videos like this on my channel and more to come. Hope you guys get busy living and I'll see you in the next one once I get done eating this. Oh, mm -hmm.